Virgo, welcome to your reading. This is your weekly read for May 2nd through to the 8th. General reading will not resonate with every Virgo propensity person out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. This is for any Virgo propensity that you may have in your chart. If the messages do not resonate, you're free to check out any of the other 11 propensity sign videos. Um, personals are open right now. That information is in the description box. Welcome to all my new subscribers. Welcome back to all my OGs. And we're going to jump right in. We've got three cards out. Let's see how many we got here. Okay, perfect. One extra. I'll take it. Okay, so at the end, also going to grab your Moonology card, work your light oracle, and a animal oracle just to give you some more guidance so you help you navigate so you know what's going on. Okay, bottom of the deck here, we have the Seven of Cups. Okay, Seven of Cups, confusion, um, delusionary energy, options, um, daydreaming. Which one is it for you? Or is this someone around you? You know, could be a, could be a array of things. Could be you with a whole bunch of options, not sure which one to pick, or someone in your energy is in this type of energy. This could be you daydreaming about someone. Absolutely. Okay, so we're going to see what this is about. Your past position, you have the Fool card and the Devil card. Could be dealing with the Capricorn, have that propensity in your chart. Um, but the Fool card is about taking a risk. Somebody was open-hearted, someone was, you know, um, willing to jump in, willing to experience, willing to go into a situation open-hearted, okay? Um, ready to start something new. We see the Fool is the Zero card, so, you know open to trying something, open to experiencing something, you know, not really going in with any expectations or defenses, just open for, right, open for the experience, right? Underneath that, we do have the Devil card, Major Arcana, as I said, could be dealing with the Capricorn. Um, whatever it is that whoever was open for, could be you that was open to a certain situation. This could be why you're confused about it now, because it maybe had, turns out that the, it was a, it was a toxic situation, okay? It was, it was not a good situation that you um, found yourself in, because this is quite polar opposite energy, right? See how light and bright and naive this sort of is? Maybe you were naive, that's the case. Maybe you were a little bit too open or someone in, in related to whatever it is you're dealing with this week. But whatever it is that you were open to might have been a little bit too naive. It definitely turned out to be something unhealthy, okay? Whether it be connection, a work environment, you know, um, whatever it is for you, it turned out to be unhealthy. Someone could have had codependencies, addictions to things, person, place, or thing other than you or the situation. So it definitely turned out to be not so healthy two major arcanas definitely learned some major lessons from that situation right present position we have the knight of swords this is um gemini libra or aquarius energy could be relevant for you but um rushing in here this is an this is an energy of someone really impulsive usually in an angry state but um i don't think so so much here i think this is just speaking to the speed in which someone wants to move a certain situation this could be you wanting to move really fast towards something or someone that is about to pretty much be going at like 180 clicks to get to you okay someone is really eager here maybe to have a conversation swords do speak to communication conversations ideas right um could be someone from the past i hope it's not the toxic situation but who knows definitely could be because this knight of swords is rushing towards the past position towards the fool right which if it was you that was a bit naive in a situation took a leap of faith towards something tried something new ended up being toxic probably had to cut it out right but there's definitely someone that's wanting to rush back in here underneath the knight of swords we have the three of wands manifestation waiting energy okay expectations energy all right so this could be something you're expecting. Maybe this won't surprise you. Although we do have the Page of Swords right next to that, which usually sometimes speaks to something happening out of the blue. Um, but um, could be just an apology as, to, as well, right? But this is definitely something you're expecting either or this person's expecting. Maybe this person's expecting you to rush back in and maybe that's not going to happen. Or you're definitely expecting this person to be back, right? Or um, you're waiting, right? This is also part of manifesting. So some, someone could be definitely manifesting a run in here type of situation, right? If if you did cut them off, I don't I don't know. Someone is definitely watching though. Could be an air sign. 
Yeah, someone, um, oh yeah, definitely with some heartbreak involved in the situation, right? This could be what you're going to be confused about because if this is this past person, you're definitely going to be confused on what to do, right? Future position, Six of Swords, moving forward to calmer waters. So definitely, I think this is someone from the past here that is going to want to move fairly quickly, right? They're going to want to mull things over, clear the air, take the situation out of the stagnant, um, uneasy situation that it is because these two are moving from rocky waters to very calm waters and there's two people in this card swords are also our thoughts we have two swords two cards of thoughts here so someone is definitely contemplating thinking of rushing in because someone is definitely wanting to mend a situation definitely could be someone from your past because i do see this guy rushing towards the past with the six of swords rushing towards the future so someone definitely wants to maybe now take a leap of faith towards you Right? Maybe they weren't in the past. You were the one that wanted to take the leap of faith. You were open. You were, you know, willing to try something with this person. And they were toxic. They were connected to other things, attached to other things. Maybe had some addictions. So you had to cut it off because it was heartbreaking for you. But this person's been watching you or you've been watching this person. Right? With the page of swords there. But definitely with some heartbreak and pain experience in the situation. Right? Underneath the six of swords, page of cups, Pisces energy. Right, this is an apology. Small apology, but an apology or a small gesture. Kind of said maybe test the waters. Definitely was in an emotionally unstable situation in the past. I have two cards here signifying that yeah, it was definitely an emotional roller coaster with this person. They're coming out of rocky waters here, and the waters behind them are very unstable. Right? This is something that made you very un very emotionally unstable. Right? It was definitely toxic, but the toxicity is in the past. I'll give it that much, okay? The devil card is in the past here. You guys were clearly on different pages. Someone was open and ready to start something new, to see where something went, and someone was still attached. The other person was still attached to old things, old habits, people, places, things that was not healthy or productive to the relationship moving forward, right? But um, definitely seems like it came to an end and someone is coming to a realization here this could be this person that's brainstorming how to work their way back into your life how to you know they're confused on what to do at this point because they are wanting to come back in and fix this maybe you'll also be confused on what to do on whether or not to take this person back because of the toxicity that you've experienced but i also think some of you are expecting this to come back right we did get an extra card wheel of fortune this is speaking of luck being on your side okay whatever cycle experience you've been experiencing up till this point this is signifying that you're about to experience the total opposite that cycle is now ending and it's now time for you to enter a new cycle this is also a very lucky time this is destined events situations people coming into your life this person could feel like this is a destined relationship this is why they are you know maybe have worked on releasing whatever this is from the past right but definitely going to cause some confusion here on your behalf, I think, as well as this person's kind of confused on how to come in. Wanting to come in really fast. But also maybe waiting for you to give them some sort of indication that they can't come back, right? What do we have for Virgo? One card for Virgo, please. May 2nd through the 8th. So I have Pisces and Capricorn. Those could be significant. Um, wasp spirit. Sometimes life stings. Yep. Definitely. Someone, you know, caused some pain here in the past with their behaviors. Right? You or them, whichever way it goes, you know the rules. Put yourself where you fit. Someone was a little bit too open. You know, not expecting someone to be a hot mess, but someone was clearly a hot mess here. Sometimes life stings. Let's see what the moonology has to say for Virgo. But um, it's definitely going to be up to you whether to move this forward. Somebody definitely wants to move this forward. They think it's destined. They think this destined. This is a destined event. And the 10 also signifies that you've definitely, whoever put an ending to this, because it was painful. It wasn't what it, it, the, it wasn't what you were hoping it would be. Because, you know, the fool, the, the fool would never jump into something knowing that he'd bump into the devil, right? Absolutely not. Don't let your past hold you back. Oh, south node. Don't let your past hold you back. This kind of sounds like forgiveness, but I don't know. It's up to you. Right? Don't let your past hold you back. Sometimes life stings. 
but don't let you, don't let your past hold you back. This could definitely be a destined situation. Someone that's destined to be in your life. Right? Maybe we'll go better this time. Because this is also a card of karma. Karmic cycles being wrapped up, karma being served and paid off. Right? And usually devil definitely signifies some sort of karma was at play. Whether for them or you. Okay? One card for Virgo. What do we have for Virgo? Guidance for Virgo, please. May 2nd through the 8th. Someone could have had options too. That could have been the addiction. Seven of Cups also speaks to having too many options. But, you know, with the Seven of Cups, some of those cups are filled with nonsense, right? Filled with garbage. <laughs> so, you better be careful when you're picking. One card for Virgo. Okay. Wait, postpone, say no. Wait, postpone, say no. This card rarely ever comes out. So if it comes out, but absolutely all your situations are going to be different. Some of you, you will need to say yes. Some of you, you will need to say no. Or maybe it's just a no right now. It's maybe not a permanent no, right? Maybe it's just a no right now. All right. But those are the messages I have for you this week, Virgo. Hopefully they were helpful. Thumbs me up if you did. And I will see you next week.